Hello everyone. Um, next we have uh, the lecture number six. This lecture uh, is devoted to the transducer. What is transducer? Uh, a transducer T, such triple, our and uh, input alphabet A capital uh, and output alphabet uh, B capital is composite of uh, the set Q of states together with two distinguishing subset A capital and T of the set Q, uh, which are called um, the set of initial and terminal states, and a set E of edges, uh, which are uh, tuple uh, or ordered um, tuple P, U, um, V, Q where P and Q are states uh, U is a word our alphabet A and V is a word our the alphabet B and edge is also denoted by the following way yeah? a transducer is called finite if uh, its set of states Q, Q is finite and uh, in as in a tomato, a path in a transducer T is a sequence C stop light. Hello everyone. We continue our lecture course on formal languages, etomata and codes. And today we have the lecture number six. Our lecture will be devoted to the following notion of the etomata uh, theory. Uh, a transducer. What is a transducer? A transducer, T capital is this a triple q i at t our uh, our and input alphabet a and and uh, it put output alphabet b is composite of the set q of states together with the two distinguished subset i capital and t capital of the set of uh, the states q uh, called the sets i uh, Call the set of initial status and uh, T capital is uh, called the set of terminal status. And uh, a set E capital of edges, uh, which are tuples P, U, V, Q, where P and Q are status. U is a word, our alphabet A capital, and V is a word of the alphabet B capital. And edge uh, is also denoted by the following way. A transducer is call, uh, called finite if its set of states is finite. As in automata, a path in a transducer T capital is a sequence C it consists of F1, F2, F2 so on, Fn, of uh, uh, consecutive edges, Fi, of this form, Qi, Ui, Vi, Qi plus 1, where i from 1 to n. The integer n is called the land of the path. Uh, C is the word W which is equal uh, u1, uh, u2, and so on, un, is called the input label of the pass uh, c, and the word z, is, which is equal v1, v2, and so we uh, n, is called its output label. The states p, which is equal q1, is called 
is a regional uh, of the path uh, C and the state Q, which is equal QN plus one, is called the end of this uh, path C. I see a, a user connotation of the path is the following. A path uh, from I to T with such in uh, with input um, uh, label X and output label uh, uh, Y, yeah, is called successful if I is an initial state and T is a terminal state. A transducer T capital defined a binary relation between words on the two alphabets as uh, follows. An ordered power XY is in a relation if it's, it is as a label of successful pass. This relation is called the relation realized by the transducer T capital. It can be viewed as a multivalued mapping from the output words into the uh, from the input words into the output words, and also as a multivalued mapping from the output words into the input words. In the sequel, we consider transducer. Uh, which is called literal, which uh, by definition means that each input label is a single letter. A transducer is called input simple if for any uh, pair of uh, edges P, U, V, Q and P, uh, U prime, V prime, Q with the same origin yeah, and same end and um, the equality u is equal uh, u prime implies the equality v is equal uh, v prime. And this guarantees that uh, when the output labels are arise, there are no multiply edges. Literal transducer which is not input simple defines naturally an automaton or its input alphabet uh, called its input automaton obtain it by forgetting uh, the uh, output label so the next we give uh, the very simple uh, example uh, of transducer example one point 5.1 the transducer given is the following uh, figure has two final states uh, one and two yeah uh, the only successful par pass from zero to two have labels uh, one in power n uh, zero in power n one yeah it's easy go from 0 to there is many passes yeah and we have the um, successful pass from 0 to, uh, to 2 uh, we have the labels 1 yeah because 1 1 in power 1 and uh, 0 in power n yeah 1 and the successful pass from 0 to 1 have the labels uh, uh, 1 in power uh, n, 0, w, 0 in power n, 1, w, for some integer n, greatest or equal 0, and uh, some word for all, uh, our the alphabet a which consists to element one and zero yeah so if we go inside that's more we get it here um, zero zero or one yeah for some integer some word and uh, double hours alphabet 
Thus, the transducer transforms the binary representation of the positive integer n capital into the binary representation of the positive integer n plus 1. This transducer is literal and input simple. I propose for you to prove this sentence as an exercise. Exercise 1. So good. Uh, we finish our lecture, and I good. I wish you good luck. Goodbye.